Hello, everybody. This is a question in geometry. Here is a question. Show that the shortest distance from the point x1, y1 to the straight line. This is the equation of the straight line. So, we want to show that the shortest distance from this point to this line, this is the result. Here is a graph. You have a point, let's call it P. The point, the coordinates of point P is x1, y1. And this is a line. And you want the shortest distance from P to this line. Now, the shortest distance is the perpendicular distance. So, you draw a line perpendicular to the given line, now this is 90 degree. Now this distance, PQ, is the shortest distance. And we want to prove the magnitude of this shortest distance is this. So this is a proof. The shortest distance is PQ, here, PQ. PQ is perpendicular to this line. What is the slope of this line? So we rewrite this equation in the form y equals mx plus b. So if we rewrite this, then we have the slope, which is m. Okay. So if we do that, the slope of the given line is minus a over b. Okay. You rewrite it mx plus b. So m is minus a over b. This line is perpendicular to the given line. What is the slope of the perpendicular line? When two lines are perpendicular, the product of their slopes is negative 1. So the slope of PQ is B over A, which is just a negative reciprocal of this. Negative reciprocal. So the slope is B over A. Once we have the slope, we can write the equation of this line using point-slope form. We have the point and we have the slope. So we can write the point slope form, which is this form. y minus y1 equals the slope bracket x minus x1. So simplify and rearrange. Simplify and rearrange this equation. So I have bx minus a y equals this. Next, we rewrite this equation, the given line, move the c to the other side, so we have only x and y on the left hand side. So we have this. Only x and y on the left hand side. The constant is on the other side, on the right hand side. 
what do we have now? We have two equations. One equation and another equation. We have two equations and two unknowns. The two unknowns are x and y. We solve for x, y. What does that mean, we solve for x, y? The result is the point of intersection. So we have this equation and we have this equation. We solve these two equations. The result is the coordinates of this point. This point is the point of intersection. So let's do that. Then you can use substitution or elimination to find x and y. I'm not going to give you the detail because this is quite routine. This is called systems of equations. You have two equations, two unknowns. So let's do either substitution or elimination. And I just put down the results. So the result, x is this, y is this. So this is the x coordinate of the point Q. This y is the y coordinate of the point Q. All right. How do we find the magnitude of this distance? So we use distance equation. The difference of the two x coordinates square and the distance uh, and the difference of the two y coordinates and square it. You add these together and take square root that gives you the distance. It is just the distance formula. So what we need is the difference of two x coordinates and the difference of the two y coordinates. So this is what we are doing here now. x minus x1. x is the x coordinate of point Q. x1 is the x coordinate of the given point. So we do that again. I am not going to give you the detail of x minus x1. You just use this x, subtract x1. You do common denominator and you simplify the numerator. That is what you have. y minus y1. So this y minus y1, minus y1. You do common denominator and simplify the numerator. So you get this. And it happens that you can factor out A from x minus x1. And it happened that you can factor out B uh, in here. So this is the result. After you factor out A, B, and simplify, you get this. Now, the distance formula is the square of this plus the square of this, and then take square root. So, before you take square root, let's do the square of this plus the square of that. So, that's what you have the negative sign goes out because you have, you have square there. And then you take square root, that gives you the distance, what the distance you want. So before you take square root, you cancel this and this, so leaves only power one of the denominator. And then you take square root, and then square root of this is just this bracket. And the square root of the bottom, you have this. 
And this is exactly what we want to prove. So we proved it. In this uh, work, uh, I have uh, skipped some details uh, of the ste steps, but I have explained uh, the main idea how you get this. So we proved what we want to prove. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.